I just want to say I hope you all have a really good weekend and have a really positive, happy, love filled weekend. Um, and if you haven't got, you all have a lovely, love filled weekend. And I was thinking about um, if you think about being in a really dark room and it's a totally pitch black room and all it takes to light that room is one little candle. You can be standing in the corner of the room. That one little candle can light up the whole room and it takes a lot more dark to put out the light. So I just want to say to all my subs and I see your light shining so bright and to all those beautiful people out there, um, keep shining and I hope your light never goes out and don't ever, don't ever let anybody put your light out. No matter what they say to you or whatever they do, whatever they try to do, don't let somebody put your light out because you're not here to please certain people and you let your light shine brightly and just remember you are that one little single light in the corner of that darkened room and you yourself, one, you know, single-handedly, you've lit up the whole room. At the moment there are many, many, many lights and the more and more lights come on, the less and less darkness we see. What makes you human? Is it your job? Is it your car? Is it your house? Is it the holidays you have? Is it the shoes you wear? Is it your hairstyle? Is it the money that you make? Is it the rules that you live by? Hi guys, this video today is about a trend that I'm seeing going on and something that's happening on the internet that I find is um, amongst some people it's becoming quite fashionable and uh, it's, it's a bit of a trend at the moment um, and that is the ongoing behaviour of some people and the way that some people find it so entertaining and they go out of their way to be negative and horrible to other people. And personally, myself, I don't understand that behaviour at all. And it just makes me, you know, you've got to think about the person and wonder what's going through their minds. And also, if you are watching this video and you yourself are like that, you've got to really, really be honest with yourself and think to yourself, when you're being like that towards the world, when you're having a go at people, when you're, when you're being the negative way you're being, why are you actually being like that? You know, what inside you, what inside you makes you think that for the rest of your day, you're just going to go around upsetting everybody else around you? What is it about you inside, inside you, that makes you want to do that? If you're a person that's like that and you're watching this video, right, I want you to be really, 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 really honest with yourself, right, because truth hurts and in order to change you have to face your own personal truth and you know what, it hurts. You have to question yourself. If you wake up in the morning and the first thing you think about is, how am I going to bitch on this one today? How am I going to bitch on that one today? Who am I going to take the piss out of today? How am I going to use my creative skill to put this one down today or make this one look silly today? You've got to think to yourself, what's going on in your mind and in your heart and in your soul? That the first thing you want to do when you wake up is attack other human beings all around you. And it's up to you if you want to carry on on your destructive path, which some people are on. And it's your choice. It's our choice. OK, as human beings, as a woman, as a man, it's your choice. When you wake up in the morning, it's up to you how your day is going to go. And you can choose yourself. You can say to yourself, you know, my day is going to be brilliant today. Whatever I put my hand to, I'm going to succeed at. And whatever I do today, I'm going to do out of the want to change the world and to change people around me and to help, you know, to help people around me. So do that today. Do that today. Try and change inside and just change. As soon as you change, 
the world around you changes everything around you changes all aspects of your life change you find you no longer have to try to succeed and you no longer have to try to, to you know things just come to you because you're giving out so much positivity when you're giving out negativity you're only going to get shit back that's what happens you give out crap you get crap back give out good give out loveness try to change you know loveness uh, give out love you know so i hope you get to see this and i hope it helps you in life and uh, i wish you all the best and good luck. Right, so I just want to ask you guys, right? Has anybody seen, and this is to anyone and everybody across the world, has anybody actually seen any footage at all of any victims from the Sandy Hook incident? Now, what I'm talking about is, has anyone seen any paramedics going to the school? Any shots of any paramedics, you know, trying to help, you know, because I'm sure everybody that was supposed to have been shot didn't die instantly. And maybe there were some that could have been saved. So has anyone actually seen any footage of any paramedics um, going into the school to, to help these children? Has anyone seen that? And also, has anyone seen any of the victims' bodies? Okay. Um, did anybody see any of the alleged victims going to, say, the morgue or to the coroner's office? Because there would have been media there. And how come we haven't seen any footage of that? So we have seen absolutely zero footage of any of the victims either being taken out of the school on, on stretchers or, I don't know what you guys call it in the USA. Um, we call it like a stretcher here. So... We've seen no, none of the victims coming out on stretchers. We've seen no paramedics going into the school to help the children. And in none of the footage from Sandy Hook that I've seen, have we seen, you know, a tiny body. You'd expect to see some paramedics going in. You'd expect to see maybe some wheelchairs, uh, some, some, uh, some stretchers coming out with bodies in, on, on. You'd expect to see some of the ambulances you know going to the local hospital i actually think the only footage i saw from any hospital was the two doctors they looked like men in black but they were in white they even one of them even had sunglasses on and they're saying they don't know how many in how many injured they are and it's a very suspicious interview outside i think it is the local the local hospital but that's what i'm going to put out there and i am going to challenge you if you can find me some footage some some actual footage from the mainstream media where they show any of the medics going to help any of these children after this this event and i also want to know if anyone has seen like i said before anyone has seen any footage of any bodies coming out on stretchers did any of the paramedics go in to help the children did they all just die instantly and the police decided not to allow the paramedics inside that school that doesn't make sense to me and that shouldn't make sense to you know the people who are thinking properly it shouldn't make sense at all and it doesn't make sense but where's your footage of the ambulances taking the children to the hospital somebody explain to me why none of the children were taken to the hospital and later on that evening under cover of darkness they were all taken to the uh, coroner's office where's all the footage We've got a helicopter in the sky looking at the scene. Where are the paramedics? They're all tied off in the corner. They're not allowed to come onto the set. And then you get to a certain age and you think this is all wrong. And then it's all about rewriting your program yourself. You know, if you look at it like we are biological computers and we've been programmed by other people and other things for most of our lives. So to then take the time to re rewrite your own programming, just, you know, it takes, it takes a while. And it does help if you just turn the TV off and leave the TV off as well. That's the first thing you have to do. And as soon as you do that, you start to take your mind back straight away because you're not constantly bombarded with all these images and things that, you know, the telly's constantly showing you. Because I find my mind is a lot more settled 
now that I don't watch TV, it's been over two years, and I can have quiet time, I can have time where I can pray, I can have time where I can go outside and enjoy nature and just have, like, stillness in my of mind, and I'm sure that's to do with not watching the TV. But then that's not to say you still can't have an active mind, because I've got a very active mind. When it comes to researching things and reading things and understanding things, um, my mind has become quite sharp like that as well. And also, whilst still being able to be quite creative. So that's what comes when you reprogram your own mind and become your own person and understand who you are and start to rewrite your program yourself. If you're going through this process now and you're you're seeing things in a different way, then all I can suggest to you is don't feel down about that and don't let it scare you either because these things that you're seeing now, feel grateful, yeah? It's a good time to be alive because it's a very historical time because there's not been many times in history where there has been mass awakening like this and people saying, no, this is wrong. But I'm telling you guys now, if you could see my analytics, I'm telling you, yeah, it's a global awakening. And a lot of people at this point in time are rewriting their program. You can have a bad day, but feel blessed. and Enjoy the fact that you can see certain things and you know how life goes, you know. And you're on this lovely path to, to truly understanding and also to understanding yourself. Because once you cut off the intravenous drip that is the system and the TV... Once you unplug yourself from that, you, you'll be able to see that, you know, you have thoughts of your own, you have a fashion sense of your own. I'm saying if you do feel bad and you can have a down day, but just remember when you leave Earth, when you leave this planet, you are going to be unlike many, many, many before you who did not have a clue what was going on around them. And they will go and they will leave this planet with their blinkers still on, not having a clue what was going on around them and I for one am happy and glad and grateful that when I do leave, leave this planet I will know fully what I was involved in and what people put me through and I will be grateful that I was able to see life for what it is and I'll always be grateful to those people that did that to us and to me that they because of them I was able to find myself and understand who I was and to rewrite my program and forever speak my truth and see my truth in my own beautiful, unique way. So today we'll be looking back at life in 2013. Earth's inhabitants in 2013 were a very early race of man. Some were like robots who just did as they were told never questioning anything about the system, world issues or lives of others. Some were like savage animals, some of them. They would kill their own kind for things like money and jewellery. They even had men called sold dyers, whose main job was to kill for the fake elders. They used money, which was really only just bits of paper with numbers on. <laughs> People of Earth at the time put so much worth in those bits of paper. For most of them, life was all about getting as much paper as they could, regardless of what they had to do to get it. Spray on. Spray off. Okay. I'm going to turn it on there. 